All right, we're boarding our first flight. Check this out, and they slurp it up. Green basketball lizard, dude. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Alright guys. It's super early. My hair's crazy. But we're gonna have a ton of fun. 5.30 in the morning. I'm tired. Jeff's getting ready. It's gonna be awesome. You ready for this, bro? I am ready for this. Crazy. Are you ready for this? Oh. I guess this is where we start. Oh, whoa, what? All right, we're boarding our first flight. Just Burke has no patience with travel at all. Yes, I do. No. He's I am so stoked, but I let out all my energy in the first 15 minutes. No, I'm tired. I'm sir. I was like, I kept looking at Jeff and saying, why aren't you excited? I'm just conserving all my energy. <laughs> He's a sprinter, and I am a long distance runner. We are officially traveling around Costa Rica right now. We're headed to our uh, destination. Arrived at a hotel last night after getting off of the plane. And now we are uh, heading to a new location where we're staying, which is three hours away. And we get to drive through all this awesome country. Man, I'm just so excited to get out there. Jeff and I saw a huge spiny-tailed iguana this morning. That's yeah, true. I'll show you pictures right now. It was really cool. I don't know if you could tell the size of that thing, but I'm telling you it was massive. That was like the worst lizard bite I've ever had. Brown basculus lizard. <laughs> Son of a gun, that hurt. Worst lizard bite ever. <laughs> Got up on the stump, he was on the stump, jumped to that tree, went all the way up and I climbed up and grabbed it. Brown basculus lizard, but he munched my thumb so hard. They've got some nasty teeth. Believe it or not, see these feet here? They can run across water. They can literally cross water. I thought this was gonna be like the hardest thing to grab. It's the brown basculus lizard. There's two different species. Uh, there's a green one and a brown one. Man, Burke's spot was awesome. He was just we were like going pole. down the down the road here, and he was just basking right on top of this. Well, okay. guys, it went to like a uh, really exciting portion of the day, and we we're thinking we finally get to photo one because we got it in our hands, and uh, it's gone. It's gone. We dropped it, and it uh, went into that. Got and there's on. ants. And there's a lot of ants. Like a <laughs> lot of ants. <laughs> oh, there's like one that came out of my shoe. Oh my lanta. This is what we came to see. Are you serious? First day, I'm freaking out. Dude, this isn't real. I'll take it better than that. We already peaked on the first day. Jeff and I are both super stoked right now. Super human. I can't hardly contain myself. Yes, tonight should be good. We have a lot of plans for tonight. Alrighty, well, we are about to start our first official night herping here in Costa Rica. Yes, we are. We are gonna go get our guide. We're gonna go pick him up and he's gonna take us out in the jungle and hopefully we will see some cool things. And we're gonna ready for this? Oh. Everything we're gonna see tonight is gonna be totally new. Yeah, so, like everything. Like every little lizard, every little snake, everything. Brand new. I don't so. think there's anything here that we have seen before. So we're really excited. So here we go. It is official guys. We're out here looking in the jungle for the first time at night. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, right there, right there. Where? Oh, yeah. Did you get it? 
Let's see. Nail leader? Oh wow, yeah, it's just, oh my gosh. I'm glad I didn't lose it. All right, so first snake of the night and first snake for me or for us here in Costa Rica. This is the banded snail eater. Very cool snake. Look how beautiful that band is. What I really like about these snakes, they're like long but slender. And they got that nice little blocky head, which I really, really like. What's cool about them, they're snail eaters because they eat snails. That's what they, why they call them that. It's real clever, right? They have this mild venom that is harmless to humans. If this thing bit me, I wouldn't be worried at all. But what they do is they, they'll grab the snail by the head and that venom like disintegrates the snail and they slurp it up just like a slurpy. Okay, we're gonna let him go after we get some photos and we're gonna keep moving on. Awesome. No way. It's the lichen phase. Oh, wow. Oh, that one's cool. That's the lichen one. Oh, yeah, a walking stick on you too. That's so nice. That is awesome. Very cool. Nice. Lichen phased snail eater. That is incredible. Wow. Oh, do you have it with you? Let's see. I love how we're getting like all the <laughs> color morphs all, of these things. All the Saibons. Oh my all gosh. The oh, look at this. Oh, snake. oh. Guys, it's just right here. Yeah, it's right here. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this, guys. Coffee snake and a cloudy snail eater. Yeah. All right, guys. We were just talking about the different color morphs. Well, guess what? We have three different color morphs of these snail eaters. We got a lichen phase right here, the banded phase, and we've got the cloudy phase. They all look like entirely different snakes, but in reality, they are different snakes. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> but these are snail eaters. They are all in the same family. They've all got the same shaped head, same behavior. We already talked about these guys, but I wanted to show the different color morphs of these guys. I mean, look, three heads. It's like Medusa, man. Tonight is just going crazy. Cloudy phase, right there. Banded phase. And the lichen phase. A handful of snakes. And of course, these snakes will be put back exactly where they were found. And just want to show you some cool color morphs. Snail eaters. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm not going to lie, this is one of the coolest insects I have ever seen. Look at the size of this walking stick. Wow, look at that. This is a walking stick. We have them in Arizona, but not nearly the size of this. I mean, we have some that are maybe the length of our fingers. Look at this. <laughs> awesome. And I'm going to put this creature back. Alright, there he goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh... Right, it's just a bigger one. Ooh, it's on me. Sorry about the camera quality, it's super foggy, so I don't know what to do about that. But here is another cloudy snail eater. Really, really gorgeous snakes, and he's pooing all over me, so. It's not a poison. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> they look like the uh, liar snakes we have in Arizona. Gorgeous, this is a cat eyed snake? Very cool. There's another cloudy snail eater. I'm just gonna leave him there. There it goes. That is our fourth. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's another cloudy snail eater. <laughs> Look at that. Another one. This is our fifth cloudy snail eater. That's pretty crazy. See you later, buddy. Dude. That is literally Woo! gorgeous. <laughs> oh my god. Gosh! No wow. way! Look at that. Oh man. As you know, we are in Costa Rica and Jeff and I are having an absolute blast. And the highlight of my trip so far just happened. Check this out. This is a Christmas phase eyelash viper. Look at this thing. This thing is insane. I'm I'm still like trying to get over myself here because just thinking of seeing a wild eyelash viper in general is always been a lifetime dream of mine and Jeff. So being able to see a native eyelash viper in the wild is insane. Yes, they are venomous snakes. And as you hear, they are a pit viper. 
The reason they are called pit vipers is because the heat sensing pits that are located right in front of the eyes on the face of this animal. So what's cool about these eyelash vipers is they will actually sit in ambush in the trees and they will actually wait for toads or frogs or wizards that come by and they will strike and envenomate those prey items with their very potent venom that they have. And these things actually come in a lot of different phases and this is one of my favorite phases. Um, this is the Christmas phase as they call it. There's this, looks a lot like the lichen that's on the trees and there's a completely bright yellow golden snake. Then you got gray and red, tan. So when an animal has different color phases but is in the same species such as these eyelash vipers, it's called polymorphism. They can't change color but they are born in different colors. I really have my fingers crossed about seeing more of them. This is our first eyelash viper of the trip, and we have only been hiking for 30 minutes. But we're gonna keep walking and see what kind of other critters we can come across. Eyelash viper, heck yeah. All right, this is actually the fourth eyelash viper tonight. Look at that, guys, look at that. No way, no way. I just put my camera away, man. All right, Jeff, what do you got? This is a fertile ants. Out. Oh my god. See that, guys? That is a fertile ants. There's the fertile ants, guys. Jeff spotted it just on the side of the road here. There's the road. So the night's just been kind of crazy. We've been seeing tons and tons and tons of snakes. <laughs> seeing loads. Jeff spotted this fertile ants. And we are beyond stoked about it. This is the snake that actually causes the most bites here in this country. Yes. And they have a nasty, nasty bite. They are respected, and they'll respect you. See, he's sitting there. Walk right past him. Doesn't even move. Here's Burke photographing our sixth eyelash. That is cool, and it's hanging out on barbed wire. That is freaking cool. What you got, Jeff? Little tiny baby eyelash viper. <laughs> it's the seventh eyelash viper. Yeah. Woo! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap. Wait, Should we try to get photos first? No way. Get oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my gosh. That thing is massive. Holy crap. Holy crap. Guys, look. Look at my boot next to that thing. That thing is gargantuous. Oh my gosh, dude. Tonight is whipping. So this is the Costa Rican coral snake. We are so pumped about this snake. Oh, this is one of those animals that we really just didn't anticipate seeing. Uh, we thought that maybe we might see it, but it was there on the very first night and we're just so stoked about it. They are fossorial snakes. They spend a lot of time underground. But man, I'm Life. This, is what, this is such a cool animal. We have to be extremely careful when we're, especially in a new country, in a new area where we're not totally familiar with the snakes. Red is touching yellow here, and it is kill a fellow. But there's a lot of mimics that are red on yellow, and we can think that, oh, it's a mimic, but it could be a coral snake. But there's a lot of cool other snakes out there that mimic the coral snake, which is yet red on yellow. We got our photos. We're, we're finished with it, now we're gonna go release it and we're gonna uh, keep going. Man, alive for first night in Costa Rica, this is amazing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. <laughs> Green basilisk lizard, dude. I don't know. But look at how cool this animal is. It is so... That is awesome. It's just like the... Uh, it's kind of like the brown basilisk that we saw uh, earlier on the side of the road. But now, just like we were talking about, there's the green basilisk that has this fan. It's like a velociraptor. How crazy is that animal? Don't lose this one. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at how cool that is. Awesome. Green basilisk lizard. Holy crap! Okay, yeah. That was amazing. That was like 
totally exceeded all of our expectations for the trip. Okay, <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> we literally almost hit all of our almost goals. Almost all exceeded them and got stuff that we didn't think we'd get. Like 18 we, snakes tonight. This crazy. place is pretty snaky. I'll, it is I'll pretty go ahead snaky. and just say that. And we have a ton more to come. This is just Wait. the first night. Day one! You owe me day one!